What's up everybody? Today we're going to be looking at everything Iron Gate has shown us so far about the Ashlands. Stick around to the end because I'm pretty sure I know what the mechanic is, and if I get it wrong and you're the first person to call me out when they unleash the Ashlands, then I will make whatever video you want about Valheim. You just tell me the video and I will make it. All you gotta do is watch the video at the end and call me out if I'm wrong. Let's start with the land generation, because they're actually going to change it. If you look at Ashlands in your current world, it'll look something like this. Notice how the Ashlands is connected to the other biomes? They're changing it, so it's islands that you have to sail to. And speaking of sailing, there's probably going to be something we'll see along the way. Oh, look at these bad boys. These things look even more scary than the regular serpent. And look at that thing! Oh man, I, I'm so excited. I want to get killed by this. And this is how much they were dying in their test, and they made the game. So they specifically said, fiery death, fiery death. We're going to have fiery death. And if you look at this landscape, I mean, that doesn't look crossable to me. Like, look at this Viking. Do you think he could get across that? I, it, it doesn't look like it to me. Does that mean there's like lava rivers that literally stop us from going places? What happens if you put a boat in that? <laughs> And here's another one showing like the edge of one of these either rivers or lava lakes. And this is one of my favorite screenshots because you can see a lot of the things that are going on. You see the trees, right? You also see an edge over here of the forts or whatever ancient ruins are remaining, right? And then there's this glowy orange resource here. And there's these things and I've seen these in other screenshots. So I think these are some kind of way for you to get over the lava or something like that, maybe like a bridge. And here's what we're looking at without much lava. So it looks like it's not just fiery death and lava. There's like forests of ashy plains-like areas in between the fiery death, maybe? And here's another awesome just view. Look at this. I, I want to be there. I want to, I want to, I want to die in that lava. You know what I mean? I want to catch fire. I want to, I want to, I want to run out of fire resistance mead and hate myself and die, you know, a preventable death. Yeah, what's on the other side of those mountains? Maybe there's a fort over there and you kind of get killed by the monsters inside. Oh. Speaking of monsters, it looks like this is the lowest tier of the Ashlands monsters, right? They specifically said in this post that they were inspired by the Grey Dwarfs, right? And they wanted to have the thing that there's a lot of that's everywhere. So it looks like these guys are the hordes of the Ashlands. These are the monsters that supposedly are gonna be the most common. And here's another angle of those same enemies, the ones that are really common. And this time you can see the, the trees in the background. And also you can see that, that metal resource we saw earlier. This could be flame metal. They called this the flame metal armor. The stuff we're seeing there, probably you use that to make this. And here's some concept art for some light armor. So it looks like there's going to be light armor for the Ashlands, mage armor for the Ashlands, and heavy armor for the Ashlands. You're going to need that heavy armor because I have a feeling this is the heavy hitter of the Ashlands. My gut tells me this isn't the boss. This is the troll of the Ashlands. As far as weapons go, there hasn't been much confirmation, aside from these drawings. So we know that there's going to be some cool stuff. You're going to use some flame metal. Someone was showing a flaming sword. And we can see this mage armor here has some kind of different staff. I mean, maybe that's just a rendering of the Staff of Embers, but I'm pretty sure that's a meteor staff or something. And we're gonna need those meteor magics because it looks like there's like badass knight enemies because they specifically stated that they added those Grey Dwarf inspired undead things we saw earlier. So these guys are probably the stronger thing. Sometimes they have swords, sometimes they're magicians, right? These are probably the guys who inhabit the forts that we're gonna be raiding. Here's another photo of them close up. And what's that sword? Is that a hint at something we're gonna get? On oh, this ungodly thing, this looks like it can fly. Does that mean this thing's gonna kill us in our boats? Here's one of the assets. So it looks like you will be able to find some like tiered ruins that sometimes have upper levels, which would be awesome because you could like jump up on them and, and like shoot the enemies and stuff. This looks pretty awesome. I think this is the best image I can find for what these forts might look like. You can see it's a pretty tall tower structure. On their social media, they teased this. So we can see what the assets look like when they're like fully built. I think this, this looks like what you see in the map, right? I mean, look at that, it looks pretty similar. So I would imagine that this on the left 
is the thing that you can actually build. And it looks like we're gonna make some kind of siege weapons or something. They've talked about siege weapons to get into these forts, as if there are keys to unlock them. And it looks like they got a couple ideas for the forts that we're gonna raid, right? And also, it looks like these are the dungeons, right? Because, I mean, notice how they glow. Here's another concept art they shared, which is a pretty similar theme. I like this one. It's a bit more of an Arabian feel. Reminds me a lot of Diablo, actually. I think the second act. And this one's my favorite. I mean, it's just so Attack on Titan Z, and the walls look like really genuinely hard to get into. It would be fun to try and get in there and then turn it into your base. You know what I'm saying? I mean, think about it. This game is all about building bases, right? But look at this video. They purposefully showed us a bunch of meteors. How are you supposed to build when meteors are coming out of the sky? And that's where this comes in. And I'm about to make that, that initial claim. I'm pretty sure that this is gonna give us protection from those storms so that the buildings we make won't get all screwed up by the meteors. But I'm, pr I'm pretty sure this is like a force field or a shield. And they showed us this crazy clip. I think this might just be the thunderstorms of the Ashlands. You can see that they even harm the enemies. And that moment right there, watch. Boom, that enemy takes some damage. And if it was a boss spawning these, the enemies wouldn't get damaged because the bosses don't damage enemies. And we're gonna need to use these things to protect ourselves from that craziness. And if I'm wrong about this, and you comment on my video and you're the first person to call me out on it, you can pick a tutorial about anything you want related to Valheim and I will make it. Thanks for watching everybody. If you want to support my work, then check out a dedicated Valheim server using my link, JP Valheim. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!